Hello guys, welcome to this week's dive into the past. Today today I bring to you Dot Hack Fragment. Uh, this game is part of the Dot Hack series, but it uh, was only released in Japan. The uh, difference this ga uh, from this game and the other ones is this is really an online game. I can't really showcase the online because the servers are off since 2009 or something like that. So I'm going to showcase the offline mode. It's very similar to the um, to the original dot .hack uh, games on the PlayStation 2. This, this does take a little bit to load up, so yeah, don't don't scare, don't get scared. Um, but this game, in my opinion, it's a lot harder. And another thing that you can do, it's actually create your your class. I already have one created that I used to tr to to test the game. And damn, this really takes a long time to load. Okay, I think it's going to boot up. Yeah, finally. Yeah, it does take a while. Probably I'll cut that long time because it really is a long time for some reason. So you got a new message, server offline. Oh yeah, you guys might be wondering why I have some test text in English. That's because I got uh, a patch. It's the R3 version of a patch that Coldbird was working on. Actually, recently I found out that I think he picked up the project again, so we might actually see more things. So, I have this character here, Kami, that is a twin blade. I'm going to load it up. There's no need, but you can actually create a lot of classes from the main game that you ac actually see. Uh, let's log in. There's some new things in the BBS and whatnot. But Actually, if Coldbird manages to hack and translate the game and do what he actually wants to, he wants to make his own servers for the game. Can you guys imagine yourselves playing this? Oh, there's Mia. Now this is all in Japanese, but I can't really fix that. So sorry about that, guys. We got Mia's member address. And by the looks of it, a keyword. Another thing that you might notice if you played the original games is that the game doesn't um, pause when you when you press the triangle button anyways let's add we have bear and BT these are the ones that gave us the tutorial so let's pick up Mia and let's pick up BT because I think she's like a caster oh she's offline and bear uh, bears offline too. Damn it. By the looks of it, it's only me and Mia. But, well, this game is really hard compared to the other ones. Um, because you gain le way less XP. For example, an enemy that would render you 60 XP. In this game, by the looks of it, it only renders me 6 being on level 1. So, yep. What are you going to showcase me? Oh, she's going to showcase the data drain. In this game you can do data drain on enemies. Because, well, data drain... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't show the enemies. The, the scene. Flatter gloves. Five XP, she gained zero. In the original game, you gain at least always one XP. Oh, and we return to the m to the capital. This game doesn't really have a strong emphasis on story. It's just to play for fun. The original servers, I think, they were kind of kind of famous in Japan. For some reason, the game is kind of slowing down. Emulator, please calm down your titties. Oh, I got memory memories, is it? I'm going to stop recording and okay, I think it. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to stop recording and again, just stop recording and recording again. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, it will be better. I don't know. It's kind of slowing down for some reason. 
Okay, we gotta invite this gal to our party. Is Mia available? No. Okay, memory come. Level 14, damn. These guys are so leveled up compared to me. It's the same area that we went with Mia. Hmm. And I'm not liking the emulator being like this. It wasn't just a moment ago. Okay, I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to completely close the emulator. Yeah, I'm going to completely... Just a second, sorry about this. Okay, by the looks of it, it has established. Let's hope that it continues this way. Okay, time to kill some magical goblins. As you guys can see, the game was... Some enemy. I don't know, I don't think all enemies have the name translated, but some of them have. And it's a pain in the ass to level up in this. By the looks of it, rumble settings. Okay, it's on. Screen position, sound. Ah. The emulator is, is slowing down again, but it's not only in this game, I checked the other ones. It, it's acting the same with all my other games. Must be a problem with my computer, but it should be running fine, I don't know what's happening. It's not doing anything in the background, at least that I know, know of. suppose that we need to head into the dungeon. Okay, so time to continue this. I, I stopped recording for a second and by the looks of it the emulator is a bit better now so... There's no slowdowns as of now. The game is very similar to the other games in the in the Dot Hack series. The original ones, the G the GU games, are very different. Anyways, I'm going to showcase this a little bit. Then after I when I finish this level, I'm going to. I'm going to check the. I'm going to show you guys the. the how to create a character and whatnot. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm not used to these controls because I changed the controls. But in this. in this game, you don't really have a choice on the controls. You can't really change them like you have in the four original games. Everything's in Japanese, like you guys notice. Not that bad, but oh well. At least the skills, uh, the ones I have at least, are translated. I don't really know if all of them are. Wait, my mom's calling to the dinner. I need. To, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry again. <laughs> Okay guys, this time hopefully I won't be interrupted. So, let's finish this then. <sighs> Whoa, Mimiru surely is strong as hell. I can't blame her, she's like over levels compared to me. If someday this game goes online, I'll be more than happy to join someone to play with me. 
Even though I'm using an emulator, the, em the, the PlayStation emulator can go online. Oh, it has the same voices as the as the game in Japanese. That's nice. Goda egg. Okay, uh, I was trying to put my. Usually, to center my mic, the camera, I use the L1 button, but they won't let me. I used to. I need to use the L3 button here. Oh well. It would be awesome if they made a 16x9 patch for this game. Oh, there's a boss battle over here. Hopefully, I'll be able to defeat him. It, I mean. No shit, it's a wyvern. Yeah, you can't destroy him because he's a data bug. Probably it's saying that I need to data drain him. Something like that. I better let Mimaru do the attacking. Oh shit, I'm going to die. Oh crap, that was a close call. Uh, I'm not used to to the game not stopping while I am. Oh, I, maybe I, sh I should heal her. Oh wait, this... I think this is skilled over here. Basically a healer. <laughs> okay, time to data drain this bad boy. Just need one more stand right skills. Data drain. So I got that fire score and great. Uh, oh, and oh shit. I wasn't counting on this. No, oh, it's dead. Good. It's the 54 XP only. Well, I suppose that it's f f because uh, I, I suppose this is for not being overpowered early in the game. Wait, it's not over. I suppose I thought it was like going to be the the goth statue. Just around the corner. Ah, shit. Shit. Okay. So all, all of them are open. All the dungeon portals. So there's no more enemies here. 8 XP only. Let me see my status. I can't advance while I have the menu open. Okay. Okay, and no, it's not this way. I was almost heading the wrong way. After I complete this dungeon, I'm going to log out and then show the character creation. I think I already said it, but I won't kill saying it twice. Health the ring, okay, speed charm. Looks like the dungeon is completed. Return to Mac Anu, the capital. This is the de de Delta server. Oh, I was kind of messing up my tongue. <coughs> Anyways, let me log out now. And it's saving automatically to our character. I don't think I have to save here, do I? Got a new mail offline. Uh, received. Let me see. Uh, from Mia. Oh, that's nice. I can understand the shit. Oh, there's a hundred percent there. So something nice. Okay. Anyways, uh, is it this? Okay, I think I managed to exit the game okay we're back to the main menu let's choose this again it'll take a while 
Okay, after using safe, uh, after deactivating, deactivating the, the frame limit. Oh come on! Oh, do I need to log in? Shit, I'm so retarded. Probably I'll just cut all of that. So let's try creating a new character. We have Twin Blade. We have like these pre-made characters. Nothing special, but we have the Twin Blade. The blue. Yeah, we also have a ton of the colors. This is the original suit for Kite. This one is nice. Okay, but let me show the other cl classes. We have this one, it, it's like Ball Monk. I think Black Rose is in this section. Must be the female. Uh, no? I, always om I was almost sure that Black Rose... Oh no, Black Rose is this one, okay. There's a ton of characters I just wanted to show. Here is Black Rose. But what's her color? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Kai. Maybe it's in this section. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Okay, this was kind of stupid, but here's the, the Pyro's like character. I don't really like the this because it's it's very slow. This one is like Gardenia with the spear. Gardenia, I think it's this one. And finally, the Wave Master character, Elk, and then we have Mistral too. Wise man, of course. Mistral, it's this one. She's so cute, don't you guys think? Oh, it is the default color on the, the original series. She's so cute, I love Mistral. Anyways, after choosing that, you cr create... Um, you simply create a character... Uh, you, see, you create his name, and something like that. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Dive Into The Past. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And see you all next time. Bye bye.